nothing awakens curiosity quite like outer space. Humankind is always finding new ways to explore our cosmic neighborhood. And Fisk Planetarium is no different. Beloved Starball Fritz has been showing visitors our universe for decades, but every era must come to an end. Fritz has retired, and Fritz has been replaced by a brand new projector that, believe it or not, is 50 times smaller. The new projector looks a lot like R2-D2. Megastar packs quite a punch in a small package. While Fritz was only able to project 6,000 stars, Megastar is capable of displaying over 20 million stars. In fact, it is so vivid that you could take out a small pair of binoculars and look through them indoors and you can see thousands and thousands, millions of stars out there in the Milky Way. But the upgrade is about more than just stars. Megastar works seamlessly with Skyscan, a digital projection system that turns the planetarium dome into a world of adventure. So what's particularly exciting is that in addition to the new star projector, the new R2-D2, we are gonna have the highest resolution and biggest video projection unsurpassed any place on planet Earth and only matched in the United States in Chicago and New York City. So we can show you the sky, of course, we can fly you through the galaxies, we can zoom past a black hole, but we could also take you through the Grand Canyon. We could take you under the ocean. You can't create this kind of experience with just any old video equipment. It takes remarkable cameras to keep up with this system. So we're gonna buy our own red, our own lenses, 4K by 4K. Our dome is 8K by 8K shooting 30 or sometimes in the future maybe 60 frames a second. Holy cow, that's one hell of a video. Along with the planetarium's digital upgrades comes a completely new way to create immersive shows. No more squinting at slides, cutting them up and arranging them onto light boards. No more noisy slide projectors lining the dome walls. Now, the tools are more digital. We use After Effects to do compositing of images onto one another. We use Adobe Premiere and Apple Final Cut Pro to edit video uh, in sequence. Um, sometimes we'll often flip back and forth between these. For generating uh, computer-generated content, though, well, we've begun using a program called Cinema 4D, which is uh, a 3D geometry, texturing, and an animation engine. We're currently working on a project called the Cosmic Origin Spectrograph, which is a device that's currently installed on the Hubble Space Telescope. Uh, this is a spectrograph that spreads the light from the most distant objects that we can see out, so we can take a kind of peer into the very earliest portion of the universe's history. Come fall 2013, the sky's no longer the limits at Fisk Planetarium. For CU Science Update, I'm Emily Johnson.